Hello everyone, welcome to One Star Mathematical Solutions. Today we are going to see about the bounded functions. Consider a function f from s to r, where s is a subset of r, then f is said to be bounded if there exists a number m greater than 0 such that modulus of f of x is less than or equal to m for all x in s. If it can be bounded by m, we say this is a bounded function. So, an unbounded function. The converse of this one, right? A function f is said to be unbounded if for every m greater than 0, we can find x such that mod f of x is greater than m. Okay? This uh, this is actually the converse of these things. If here we have the uh, direct symbol, here it will be for all. And here if we have the for all symbol, here it will change to direct. And this sign also. Right? This is, uh, this is how we write the converse. Okay. Now uh, let us see some results on bounded functions. First one is, if you take uh, two functions which are bounded, so two functions are bounded, then the sum will also be a bounded function. Okay, this is one result. Second one is the product, f, g is also bounded. Okay, third one is the composition, f composition g is also a bounded function fourth one is if f is bounded and g is unbounded then f plus g is also unbounded last one is if f and g are bounded then f of x by g of x where g of x is not equal to 0 may be bounded or may not be bounded. Okay, may be or may not be bounded. Thank you. See you in the next class.